Mira, making friends already, I see. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. Oh, no, no. Come on, you! No! no. Oh, please! Wait, wait! No! Get off Shut me. your fucking mouth! They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. What are you doing here, Morgren? Come to rub your triumph in my face. Far from it, Lady Mira. I've come to make you an offer. I was thinking about what you said, and I've come to the conclusion you're right. Lud will likely betray me the first chance he gets. And I realized I'd overlooked something of great value. Your name. I want you as my wife. Your wife? Do you do all your wooing in cells? I'm new to courting, but I imagine less violence and intimidation. Wars are won and lost in the marriage bed, Mira. Kingdoms too. And I want my own kingdom. I'll start with an old and noble house, with a keep like Ironrath. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros, but it's a start. Marrying me won't help you get Ironrath. The title belongs to my brother. He's the rightful lord. <laughs> I'm well aware of the king's law, Mira. You think I haven't thought about that? Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. <laughs> One way or another. And it won't take me long to get rid of the harebrained fool myself. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive. Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. If all this happens, I want revenge against Lud. Promise me he dies. Let me be clear, Mira. You're in no position to make demands. When it's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell, I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that coal boy takes your place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to marry me. You'll give up your power. You'll give up your ancestral home. But you'll be alive. So, Mira. What do you say? Good. She won't get far. Not out here. Please, let me go! Sylvie! Uh, it's my brother! I, I wasn't finished! <laughs> when you're finished here, come see me. There's something I must show you. I don't trust these people, Garrett. Which was why I had to see Cotter. 
He's not well. And he, he won't live much longer. I thought he was getting help. Whatever they've done, it hasn't worked. There's nothing that will save him now. Which is why I need you to do something for me. I didn't want him to suffer anymore, Garrett. Just to ease his pain, but... That's when they found me. The Nightshade. I need you to be the one to end his suffering. What? It's our way, Garrett. You have to feed it to him. I'm trusting you to do this, Garrett. You're the only one who can. I will. You can trust me. I'll do the right thing. Thank you, Garrett. He's in so much pain. I did everything within my power to help your friend. But I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly. And has no place in here. I promised Sylvie I'd give it to him. To end his suffering. I don't know what that wildling told you. But that will kill him, and taint his blood. <coughs> Garrett. Garrett, is that you? It's me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? I want to see her. Where is she? Did something happen to her? Don't worry. Our friends are taking care of her. What? What do you mean, our friends? She wanted me to look after you. been incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. This wasn't supposed to happen. I always thought he'd be here, fighting by my side. But now you can use his death to give his life meaning. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. Forged from iron. The handle made with ironwood from this very tree. In my father's absence, you speak for House Forester. It seems only right that you should have this now. You're here for a reason, Garrod. It's no accident they sent you. I promise. I'll make Lord Forester proud. I know you'll do what's necessary. <sighs> Your friend is dying, but his life is too valuable to waste. Give me his heart, his beating heart, and his death can have meaning. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrett. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. But... We must do this, Garrett. I fear what might happen if we don't. His beating heart? This is madness. Not madness. Necessity. 
Madness would be letting the North Grove fall. You saw what happened after the fight. My warriors, they're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. For me, for the North Grove. I'm ready. Garrett. any longer. And his suffering. Use his life to make us strong, Garrett. Give him that poison, and his blood will be useless. I'll do it. With the North Grove. I knew I could count on you, Garrett. Use a dagger to open his chest. We need his heart. Good. Now grab his heart. Quickly. While his blood still pulses through it. Bring it here. Squeeze the blood into the fire. While it's still warm. Don the Treoric Sprag Svogen this Fobule. Thank you, Garrett. I know it was difficult, but you did the right thing. Now we must burn the body. In the name of the King, I hereby sentence you to death. Get over there! This boy has been charged with murdering a loyal servant of the king. Who here bears witness to his crimes? My betrothed can speak to them. Is this true, my lady? My lady! Then in the name of the king, I sentence you to die. Lady Mira, please! Please, this isn't right! Come along, Mira. I have a busy day ahead. The wine is ready, my lord. Your sister will pour. Once they're all seated, give the signal. Remember, no matter how much they might provoke you, we must let them think they've won. That's them. Here we go. Gwyn. Clever. Send the girl first. Don't let her play with your head, little brother. Lady Forrester. 
My apologies for arriving unannounced. I was hoping I might have a word in private with Asha. I think we can agree these are not ideal circumstances. Agreed. But these are the circumstances we find ourselves in. I know how you must feel, Asha. What your family has suffered, it's unimaginable. Which is why the bloodshed must stop. I agreed to your father's terms, didn't I? You did. But I know you, Asha. You're not the one to roll over so easily. You don't like being pushed into a corner. It's not in your nature. Things are different now. I'm different now. But you have nothing to worry about. You were always a terrible liar. You have to understand. I've risked everything to bring peace between our houses. To meet with Roderick in secret. To tell him of the traitor within these very walls. To make sure no harm came to Ryan as our ward. All while persuading my father that bloodshed would end if we were to wed. I have no ulterior motive, no hidden agenda, just peace, once and for all. Your brother is too unpredictable. It just as soon slit my throat as see us wed, and I can't forget that he was the one who killed my brother. That was before. I'll see Griff exiled if that would put your mind at ease. Truth be told, my father's scared of you. Is he? With Roderick, he knew who and what he was dealing with. But you, he thinks you're dangerous. You proved as much when you attacked his men. They came after us. I know. And that's all in the past now, I promise. We can make this work, Asha. This is our one chance. Together we can control the future of our houses. Just promise me, when my father and brother walk through that door, nothing will happen that could threaten that future. Our future. I need your assurance. Nothing will happen. And at this point, it's in the hands of the gods. Begging your pardon, my lord. I'm afraid Lady Forrester requires your help. Of course. I should go. What help does my mother need? Sorry, my lord. It was the best I could think of. But we have everything in place. How should we proceed? Ready the poison? Of course, my lord. I'm sorry it's come to this, but at least it's done. Where's my son? Right to it, then. Mother! Oh, my baby. Oh, my baby. Enough blubbering. You can have him back when we've hammered out the details of your surrender. Lord Whitehill. Asher, now who'd ever have imagined this? You welcoming me into your hall to drink your wine and call me father. <laughs> I thought I'd seen the last of you when Gregor shipped you off to the other side of the bloody world. You honor us, Lord Whitehill, with your presence and with this union. Honor you? I didn't take you for an arse licker, Forrester. Father, don't bicker. Asher's showing you respect. Somehow, I doubt it. Would you like to sit down, Lord Whitehill? Aye. And get me something to drink. I'm bloody parched. Talia, why don't you fetch the wine for his lordship? We thought you'd like to sit here, Lord Whitehill. I'll sit there. 
Thank you very much. In the Lord's chair. It's not like your father wanted your worthless ass in it. Our hall is yours, Lord Whitehill. Make yourself comfortable. Of course it's my bloody hall. But you're too ready to give it over. Your false smiles don't fool me, Forrester. Calm down, father. Asha's just showing you the respect you deserve. So, Lord Forrester. You made your ways a soul sword out there, did you? Eh, a little rape, a little murder. Anything for the right price. <sighs> and your family must be so proud. And all those bed slaves a cell sword must enjoy across a narrow sea. Oh, I can't imagine how my sister will be able to please you. I think we're ready for the wine, Talia. Aye. Wine. Enough bloody nattering. Sit the hell down, Griff, and let's drink. A toast. We should make a toast. Aye. What shall we toast to? Come on, then. Let's hear it. Don't make me sit here waiting to drink. To the alliance between our families, House Forrester and House Whitehill, let us put the bloodshed behind us. To, to our the alliance. alliance families. No, no, no. This isn't right. You first, then me. In the way of the North. Come, Forrester. Let's drink together as lords of our houses. Let me. Let it be you and I who seal this bond. For our houses. For our children. No! <gasps> Fucking foresters! I knew you were to be trusted! They tried to poison him! Asha, how could you? I showed mercy! I gave you my daughter! Ah! 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 Ah!
Queen! It could have been so different, but you destroyed everything. Goodbye, Asha. the entire White Hill Army! My lord, your wound. Get them to safety. Of course. I won't abandon you, not again. Please, mother. Command! We have to retake the gate! We have to retake the gate! Watch out! a long way to die.
Compromise. My lord, we have to get you out of here! I'll be damned if I let another lord die on my watch! Thank you. You must survive, Ashi. For the house, for all of us that fought this day. What you did was right. I did what I had to do. I'll let you light the pyre. Your arrival has changed everything. Even though we've been preparing for it all our lives, now we don't have much time. 
We were sent here for a reason, to protect the North Grove. Winter is coming, and we have a role to play in the war to come. Our father never would have wanted us to stand by and see House Forester fall. Not while we can still do something about it. It's too late to reach Ironrath. It may already be lost. You know protecting the North Grove is the right thing to do. Those were Gregor's last words. They sent you. You should decide. House Forester needs our help, so we'll gather our forces and march south. May the gods guide us and protect us. We haven't much time. <laughs> 